Hi everyone, this is Anna Carter from Rose River Way Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to paint some little wild daisies that I was inspired to paint just on a little walk the other day. So this should just be a five minute painting. These are going to be some really loose florals, and we'll see how they turn out. Okay, so to start I want to get the, the center of each little daisy, and I'm going to start with um, mix up a little orange, kind of a light, light yellowy orange, and just gonna do, you know, a little oval here, maybe a circle there, and it just depends on um, which direction I want the flower to be facing, on whether you do an oval or a circle, or maybe we have one from the back. So we're just going to do a couple here. Okay. We'll start with that. We can always do more if we want. Okay. Now I'm just getting pure yellow. And I'm going to do a couple little teeny tiny leaves. And most of them I'm going to try not to touch this centerpiece yet because it's so wet. So it will pull that color in really quickly if I do that. So I'm going to have this one kind of facing that way. So I have most of the petals facing outward one direction. And then maybe I'll just touch. I'm connecting these a tiny bit. Okay, fun. Getting a nice loose effect. Okay, there's one. Um, and this one I think I want to be facing right at me, so all my petals are going to be um, equally spaced and like a classic sunflower here. And you can do little ones and you can see there I touched the center a little bit so that petal is going to be more orange than the others, which is fine actually. I think I'll connect a couple of the others. Okay, now we've got our little field daisy facing us. Okay, now this one I think I'm going to have facing the opposite direction as that one. So I'm going to do the ones that we're looking at sort of straight on here, and then I make them a little longer on this side and if they start to look too light I'm just going back and grabbing a little bit more pigment. Awesome. This would make a really cute little card too. Okay and this one I think I want to be facing me. No, no crazy techniques going on here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do one more up here. And maybe have this one facing upwards and at an angle a little bit. So, there we go add if it looks too stark you can connect some of the petals at the bottom here just by connecting the water zone essentially and maybe I just want to do one more up here and this one is actually going to be facing away from us which you'll be able to tell more once we break out our green. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to pull up a little green I have and I'm really, really lightly going to start making some thin lines here. And do this as light-handed as possible. 
And it's okay if you have small spaces where you lift up a little bit. Um, it gives it, it adds to the effect of this being a loose, dreamy floral. And these shouldn't all be the same length. I usually tend to make the ones in the center longer. And if one of them kind of ends up joining the other, that's fine. Adds to the effect. And this one here is going behind my other flower. So I'm just gonna imaginary line follow that. There we go. Fun. Okay. And then this one, because it's facing away from us, I'm going to put some green in the middle. And that might spread out a little bit and that's fine. Okay. Now, lastly, we're going to just do a few really simple leaves. And I start with a light stroke and then I lead and push down and lift up gently. Gives me a little leaf, just spatter them here and there. And put them right over top some of my stems. Give me more. 3D effect. And maybe some of them don't even fully connect. I like to put some um, outside of the flowers like this. Gives it, the painting more depth. There! We're all done with our little field daisies. And the last thing you need to do is sign your beautiful piece of artwork. Thank you so much for joining me and please subscribe if you'd like to see more of these little mini videos. I'll see you next time.